Okay, Lions Den Women Mixed Martial Arts Community. Well, uh, the referees helped Kayla again. They helped again. But I tell you guys, I, I tell you this, guys. I'm going to tell you this. Here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing. I realize that Kayla Harrison is the face. Is the face of the PSL. I, I, I got it. She's the face of the PFL. And you cannot have the face of your company not making it. I get it. I get it. Okay? And so hence the reason why they gave her the strike in Viking. The strike in Viking was on paper supposed to be a predictable opponent. Okay? I thought the strike in Viking actually had a chance to win this fight for an upset. I thought so. Um, unfortunately, the referees, they saw something different. Here's the thing. You know, I'm for a referee stopping a fight before a fighter gets seriously injured. I'm, I'm all for that. I'm pro referee in that aspect. But come on, man. We, we, everybody and their mama, you can see the bullshit. Now, nobody's really saying that, you know, the striking Viking would have won the fight overall. But God, dog, can we at least give the girl an opportunity to work her way back to her feet? And it wasn't like Kaylin Young was just sitting there accepting position. It wasn't like she was doing that. She was actually trying to get back to her feet. She was moving around. She didn't just lay there and take an ass whooping. She was moving. And this referee just like, okay, fight back, fight. Well, she's trying to get up, ref. This referee waited for every opportunity because guess what? The PFL couldn't afford to have Kayla get three points. Because she got three points last time fighting Marina Mahaknikina. Or Nahaknitina, or whatever the hell her name is. They couldn't risk Kayla getting another three points and possibly not making the playoffs. It's that damn simple, y'all. Kayla Harrison is the cash cow. Kayla Harrison is the cash cow. Yeah, she the cash cow. Mary F., she not looking complete. Because if she did, guess what? Guess what? She would have tried to strike. She would have tried to strike. She would have threw some damn punches. But she'll never do that. Look, Kayla Harrison been doing the same damn thing since she started. Tell me, where has Kayla Harrison been in a striking battle? Where has she even tried to stand with somebody? Please. Please. Cut it out. Look. The striking Viking had to fight three people. She had to fight Kayla. She had to fight the judges. And she had to fight the referees. Okay. I'm sorry. The odds are three to one. You can't win. Kayla Young. I respect the hell out of you. Here it is. Guess what? You were never going to win that fight. Because you had to fight three people. Well, really? Nah. Four. Five. Kayla Harrison. Three judges. One referee. Five people. That's who you had to fight. Okay. Huh. Huh. Yeah. So that's what it was. The stoppage was bad. Nobody's saying that striking Viking would have won. Nobody's saying that. But we're saying that, you know what? The stoppage was bad. It was very bad. They should have allowed Kaylin Young to work her way back to her feet. And that's what she was trying to do when the stoppage happened. Kayla can beat Nunez that fought Pena. Tell me already. She can't. She can't. Kayla can't beat that version of Nunez. She can't. Jean Tidwell, she can't. You're living in a fantasy world. There are levels to this. There are levels to this. I mean, look, look, look. She she can't handle Marina Mahaknikina. <coughs> Do you know Chris Cyborg? Her wrestling is 10 levels above that. Her grappling is 10 levels above that. And she struggled with Marina. Cut it out. There is levels to this. Okay. Kayla's on another level. Nunez is on another level. They're going to stop the takedowns. And they're going to force Kayla. Uh, Nunez and Cyborg are going to stop the takedowns. Okay. She's beating opponents that are not formidable. Kayla hadn't evolved as a fighter. She hadn't evolved as a fighter. Stop it. Stop it, Mary. She does the same damn thing. The same thing. She throws a jab, a feint, and then a takedown. I can go back, Mary, and I can show you three fights. Hell, I can show you her first three fights where she did the same thing. 
She's not throwing punches. She's not going to stand with anybody. She's not evolving as a fighter. She's, she's a judo. Uh, she's a skilled black belt in judo that fights in the octagon. Let somebody stop those takedowns. And I tell you this. It's over. It's over. Her striking the suspect. Well, it's not that good. Please. Yeah, but Pena, Kayla outweighs Pena by 30 to 40 pounds, okay? Pena was never a featherweight to begin with. Pena was never a featherweight. She's always been a true bantamweight. Cut the crap. Yeah, you know, Colostrum, you are going to need good grappling. The same thing he said about Ronda Rousey. That's the exact same thing he said about Ronda. Ronda don't need to really uh, have that better strike, and she don't got to have that. She don't really have to have that because, guess what? Her grappling, her takedowns, her judo is on another level. And what happened? She got in there with somebody stronger than she is. She got in there with somebody that can stop the takedown. She got in there with somebody that has superior foot movement. She got in there with somebody that was able to do it. That person is out there. The person is out there, okay? Kayla Harrison going to run up on somebody that they can't be taken down. She's going to run up on somebody that she can't take down. She's going to run up on somebody that she can't get a quick double leg takedown and scoop slam. She's going to find that person. And when she encounters that person, she's going to lose. The trick is to get Kayla Harris in the deep water. That's what Pacheco figured out. That's what Mahat Nikina, that's what she figured out. Oh, wait a minute. If I take her to deep waters, she's really not all that tough. That's it. Justin Statham, Kayla versus uh, Santos. I don't think, like, Kayla outweighed Taylor Santos by about 40 pounds. So, I don't know if that fight will be, you know, doable. Doable. Yeah, George Page. Salute to the brother, George Page. Hype job, just bust, ball, bull rush. That's all she do. Combo Breaker 99. He says, oh, oh, much love and much respect to both the brother, George, and Combo. He said, you can't look improved when the competition isn't testing you. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you. I'm telling y'all what's going to happen. I'm telling you what's going to happen. What's going to happen is somebody, they're going to stop those takedowns. You're not going to be able to like charge full steam ahead and get the takedown from a double leg. She do that same double leg every single fight, y'all. That's what she does. Folks, that's Kayla's offense. And what these people need to do, they need to study that. They need to study it. They need to study that bull rush. They need to study it. Because you can defend that. Chris Cyborg has defended against that. Amanda Nunes know how to defend that. Stop it. Stop it. Cut it out. Cut it out. Yeah, I think, I always thought Caitlin Young, her takedown defense was decent. I didn't think it was the best, but I thought it was okay. I thought that she could definitely fight off her back and I thought that you know she did a good job of stopping Kayla from getting a full amount I mean Caitlin Young she's she's got some ground game it's not like she's just a tie fighter no I mean she's got some ground she's studied the art she studied the art okay she studied the art she stopped she prevented Kayla Harrison from getting a full amount she stopped that okay Well, I, Mary, I felt like Marina tried to beat her. I felt like Marina tried to beat her. I think the trick was, though, really getting Kayla to those end rounds. That's the trick. That's the trick. That's the trick, okay? But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, she won. She won with the help of the referee. She won. The referee called his quit. I, I'm, I'm not giving Kayla jack. She gets nothing, okay? She get nothing from me. And that's just how it is. She get nothing from me until otherwise noticed. For real. Yeah, she picked up. She picked up. I mean, the takedown was impressive. Kayla's takedown, I'm t she got that, that double leg that she does every fight. That's an impressive takedown. You know, it's like when Jessica Andrade pick you up and slam you over your head. 
or I'll pick you up over here and slam you. Yeah, that that's Kayla Harrison trademark. The double leg takedown, the rush and the double leg takedown. That's our trademark. Please, okay. <laughs> Lafayette called Kayla uh, Zane Gift from Street Fighter. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see Mario Yamasaki. But, you know, eh, congrats. We knew, I mean, Kayla was supposed to win this fight. I mean, whoopity do. Whoopity do. Yep, yep, Brian Williams. Tell Mary F. Please tell Mary F. Kayla Harrison ain't, ain't no complete fighter. She ain't done nothing. Okay, and that's it. And every chance I get. Kayla Harrison gets no credit until she shut her mouth and she found a way to get Ray Sefo to make the fight with Cyborg, to get Dana White, to get Amanda Nunes ass in that octagon. I'm done. 